Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a Nick Murray challenge. Hi, hi Nick Murray, no mods. And you can find out what that is in just a second. Let's go check it out. Hey Ruthie. Ruthie. What? Are you watching Nick Murray again? No. <laughs> you were watching no, Nick Murray. No, he's so funny. No, go away. Get out of here. <laughs> You're watching Nick Murray. Why aren't you watching Auto Amateur? I'm leaving. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. So yeah, this video um, is a funny one because as much as my lovely wife enjoys my videos and she sits around watching, you know, the odd auto amateur video. Um, she's a really big fan of Nick Murray, as am I. Uh, but you know, like I occasionally find her talking about his videos, watching his videos, and uh, <laughs> I just, it's really funny. Um, so she asked me actually the other day, um, you know, why does, why do I modify my cars, but like Nick Murray doesn't? And I was, sort of a little bit dumbfounded. It's like, I don't know. I don't know why Nick doesn't modify his cars. I mean, he puts paint protection film on and uh, you know, that's awesome, sensible, not particularly exciting, uh, but you know, it's sensible, it's good, it's cool. But yeah, thinking about it, uh, yeah, he doesn't really modify his cars. He's had, I think two 911s um, and they were very well specced, but I don't, I don't think he modified them at all. Um, and now he has his, um, his sort of Amazon Mamba Green uh, McCann, and I don't think he's gonna modify that. Whereas I, certainly with my 997 and now my 991, yeah, I do modify mine. So in this video, I am challenging my wife's secret crush and <laughs> my, uh, my YouTube friend, Nick Murray, to a video challenge. It's kind of like, it's not like a challenge, it's not like a dance off or a video off, but in this video, I'm gonna talk about why I like to modify my car and what it kind of means to me. Uh, and as well as talking through some of the modifications that I've made, um, but I'm challenging Nick, if he ever watches this video, to make a video to talk about why he prefers not to modify his cars. And if for nothing else, I would be interested in knowing why and uh, my wife would certainly be excited about watching it. <laughs> so let's talk about why I like to modify my car. I think part of it is that because I just enjoy driving my car and being around my car so much, any excuse that I've got to... <laughs> Hi. Hi, Nick Murray. No mods. Yay. Don't gild the lily. Hashtag don't gild the lily. It's already a Porsche. It's already a Porsche. You don't need to add it. We love you, Nick. Love you. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks, wife. <sighs> my wife. Anyway, um, yeah, I like to modify my cars because I like to find, a, I guess, an excuse, an opportunity to be with the car when I'm not driving it. I mean, does that sound like weird? Uh, but, you know, instead of watching TV for a couple of hours, um, being in the garage around the car, whether it's the 911 or the, the Cayenne or even my wife's Highlander, I just find it fun. Uh, so, you know, when I have a couple of hours here and there, I'll detail my car, I'll detail my wife's Highlander, um, you know, I'll, I'll check the tire pressures on all the cars. Uh, but with the 911 itself, I guess that's part of it. But the other part of it is I just like the fact that my 911, even though it's the Carrera, you know, and it's it's probably the most, or it's the most mass produced of the, the 991 generations. You know, there are more Carreras, I imagine, sold than the S's, than the Turbos, than the GT2s, and the GT3s, and the GTS's, you know. Um, but I've taken that beautiful car and I've, individualized it, I guess. I've personalized it more than just picking the paint color and picking the interior color. Um, but whether it's the, 
you know, whether it's the, uh, the color of the sports chrono gauge face, which I really enjoyed doing, and now I've got to redo because uh, the, the, car I'm, the color I'm wrapping the car in won't go with the red gauge face, or at least I don't think it will. Um, or adding the carbon fiber accents to the car, uh, opening the door, and, and, and this is funny, the door sills, you know, you only see those door sills when you open and close the door, and you know, 99 times out of 100, it's only me driving the car, so that, that mod is truly for me. You're driving down the road, you see me in my car, you're not gonna see the fact that I've got carbon fiber door sills, it's just, it's literally just for me. When I open and close that door, I look down and I see that door sill which I installed, which is nicer than the bog standard plastic and aluminum, aluminum one that you get from the factory, and I know that it's mine, it's my car. And I feel that's also true for um, the carbon fiber uh, sports chrono housing lid or hood that I put on. That as well, you're probably not gonna notice that unless you're really looking into my car and, uh, and then you're probably a robber. <laughs> so it doesn't matter too much. Um, I probably would never see the car again after that. Uh, but if you're looking that closely into my car when I'm not there. Uh, but again, that's for me to look at when I walk towards the car, when I get in the car, when I'm using Sports Chrono, I can look and see, oh, I figured that out. I worked out how to take the dash apart and to put that, that, that relatively unique style change into the car and it looks professional. I mean, even though me, complete amateur, has put that in the car, it looks professional. It looks like it could have come from the factory. Uh, so, so that means a lot to me and now wrapping the car Okay, that's taking it a bit too far, I guess, maybe. Um, but it's not permanent, it's reversible. And, and seeing the car go through the two or three days worth of work that Print Lab Wraps are gonna be putting in to make that happen is just fascinating to me. That, it's, for me, is even just worth the whole effort of wrapping the car. Even if I was to just take the wrap off within a couple of months, that would have been worth it to see what my car looks like as that color with the different emblems on the back and, you know, just to see that kind of transformation is really fascinating for me. Um, and the same thing was true with my 997, putting the, the spoiler on the back, and it wasn't just the end result, it was, you know, the, the, the old cl cliche, it's not the destination, it's the journey. That's also kind of what modifying a car is about for me. I love researching all of the different options that are available whether it was the spoiler for the 997, I was looking at the ducktail, I was looking at the GT3 aero kit style, I was looking at the GT2 style, um, I was looking at a number of other aftermarket kind of uh, spoilers, learning about the different types, figuring out how much I wanna spend, researching the job and figuring out how to do it, all of that just, you know, is again, sort of like mentally and creatively stimulating for me. So that's why I like to modify my cars. Um, and I don't think I'll ever stop. I mean, I was making a video with my friend Chris the other day and we were talking about the new turbo that's been released. And, you know, for the sake of argument, let's say I'm gonna buy a 992 turbo and let's say Chris is gonna help me configure it and we're gonna spec it out thinking that I've got all the money in the world to spend and none of those statements are true. <laughs> so uh, it was, you know, just, just a nice exercise to do. But I'm sitting there thinking, okay, well, if, 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 if money's no object and I can afford to configure this new turbo any way I want, as I was going through the process, I was still thinking, what can I modify myself? You know, what, what will I be able to do with this car when it gets delivered? Will I be able to put a different exhaust on it? Or um, should I really go for the, the factory uh, options that allow me to deviate the stitching. Well, probably, but uh, you know, the interior trim, there, w there weren't actually very many carbon fiber options available for the turbo online yesterday in the configurator. So, uh, you know, maybe that's something I can do myself later. The, uh, the door mirrors, there were no carbon fiber options for the door mirrors. Maybe that's something I could do myself. So there I am, in theory, about to pull the trigger on $220,000 worth of 911 for that brand new turbo, and yet I was still thinking about the one or two or $3,000 worth of mods that I could make to it myself in the garage. I mean, that might not make a lot of sense to people, but I was almost thinking to myself, well, I, if this was actually gonna happen, I think I'd probably be more interested in finding 
a second hand turbo from the 991 generation for half the price and spend 10 grand on it just modifying it to what to, to me and to, to, to what I want and the, the little things that I might dream up to put in. So, so that's why I like to modify my car. And quite frankly, I think some people just like get it completely. Um, my friend Mario, I know for sure does, given you know the mods that you, you've all seen him do uh, to his 997 and his 991 and, and now his uh, Mercedes uh, AMG GTS edition one, whatever that is, did I get that right? God, that's a long name. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then there are other people that just don't get it at all. You know, they just want their stock car. They want to keep their warranty. Um, and, and I can appreciate that, but I don't fully understand that because I like to modify cars. So watching this video, guys, if anybody uh, wants to comment below, let me know what you think, modifying cars or not, how far is too far. Um, those folks who don't like modifying cars, why not? Um, and, uh, Nick Murray, if you are watching this video, what do you think? Because <laughs> I know at least Ruthie would really like to know, but I would too. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for checking in. I will see you in the next video soon. This afternoon, I'm going down to Print Lab Wraps to see them uh, work on my 991 in Lakeville. They're gonna be prepping the car, bit of clay bar, bit of cleaning. Uh, they're gonna start um, taking down some of the uh, some of the things they need to take off the car in order to, you know, like the headlights and so on, so they can get the wrap in. Um, I'm pretty excited about that. I've got a few more mods coming in the mail from Suncoast Parts. Uh, so that's gonna be fun. So more videos coming soon. Uh, the Twin Cities Auto Show is next week. Um, I'm gonna be down there a couple of days. So if any of you guys in the Twin Cities are around, uh, let me know and maybe we can uh, hook up down at the, uh, the Auto Show in the Convention Center. If you see me around, come and give me a high five. It'd be nice to say hello. Catch you in the next video. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, all that good stuff. See you around, bye.